Okay, hello everyone. So in this video, kita akan continue on chapter 9, differentiation. So kita akan tengok dekat uh, subtopic 9.4, which is implicit differentiation. Okay, so let's go through the first learning outcomes. Untuk implicit differentiation ini, so the outcome ada satu je sebenarnya, which is um, solve the first and the second derivative implicitly. So what does it mean by um, implicit? Okay, so implicit is actually some function of y and x equals to something else. So this is the example of implicit function ataupun implicit equation. So implicit tu nak bezakan dia dengan explicit. Explicit ni adalah function yang selama ni kita jumpa lah. Which is kita dapat jadikan y sebagai single subject. And y tersebut equals to some function of x. So explicit ni bila kita dapat value of x. Kita boleh terus gantikan dekat dalam function untuk dapatkan value of y directly. Sebab tu dia kata dekat sini, when we know x, we can calculate y directly. For example, contoh macam inilah. So, let's say dia suruh cari value of y when x equals to 3. So, gantikan terus 3 dalam ni, directly kita akan dapat value of y. Okay, that is explicit. So, implicit pula tadi saya kata dia adalah uh, some function of y and x equals to something else. Okay, apa maksud dia? So, dia berbeza dengan explicit lah. Kalau explicit, kita boleh dapat directly value of y. Kalau implicit, when we substitute, we still need to do some calculation so that kita boleh cari value of y. Okay, so maksudnya kita takkan dapat value of y directly lah. Sebab tu kat sini dia beritahu, knowing x does not lead directly to y. So, for example, let's say nak cari value of y when x equals to 3. So, kamu kena gantikan. 3y tambah 3 kuasa 3 berapa? Uh, 27 y squared equals to 6y squared plus 3. So, kamu nampak dekat sini untuk dapatkan value of y, kamu kena cari kuadratik equation. Nak kena solve pula. Okay. So, that is what it meant by implicit lah. Tak boleh directly dapat the value of y. Okay. So, macam mana kita nak differentiate implicit ini? Okay, so the steps is, first, differentiate each terms with respect to x. Okay, sebab kita nak cari dy over dx, so kita akan differentiate with respect to x. Once we differentiate with respect to x, so kemudian kita akan express dy over dx in terms of x and y. Maksudnya, jadikan dy over dx as a subject. So, jawapan kita itu akan jadi in terms of x and y. Okay, so this is the important uh, point untuk implicit differentiation. Whenever we have variable of y, we will multiply with dy over dx after we differentiate it. So what does it mean? Okay, let's say kalau kita ada function x squared plus y squared equals to 9. Okay, so, differentiate directly. So, differentiate x square kita dapat 2x. Dan, differentiate y square. Differentiate y square with respect to x, kita akan dapat 2y. Tapi, kita perlu darabkan dengan dy over dx. And then, differentiate 9 will be 0. So, nampak tak? Whenever you uh, differentiate y, we are going to multiply by dy over dx. Okay, so that is what implicit differentiation uh, differentiation do lah. Okay. Step kali kita differentiate y. So, differentiate your y tu macam biasa. Sama seperti rules of differentiate x. Tapi selepas itu, the variable y will be multiplied by dy over dx. Okay. So, let's look at the first example. Find dy over dx in terms of x and y. Okay. Soalan ini minta kita cari in terms of x and y for this equation. Okay, first derivative maksudnya kita akan differentiate the whole equation with respect to x. So, kita akan buat d over dx of this variable. Okay, so saya akan mulakan dengan writing. Differentiate with respect to x 
Make sure kat sini saya gunakan D over DX eh. Bukan DY over DX. Itu dah salah. Okay. So, kita nak buat differentiate with respect to X. Okay. The variable kat sini. Oh, sorry. The function here is XY plus 2 squared minus 3X plus E of negative Y. Kita tutup bracket. Equals to differentiate with respect to X again. Our right hand side pula adalah E of negative X. Okay, so let's try to differentiate the left hand side. This one, okay, differentiate gunakan power rule. Okay, so macam mana kita nak differentiate XY plus 2 squared. Power bawa pergi depan, salin dalam bracket. Power akan kurang 1, so 2 tolak 1 akan jadi satu. So, saya tak payah tulis satu lah. Kemudian, kita akan darabkan dengan differentiate pula dalam bracket. Dalam bracket kita adalah XY plus 2. Okay. So, ini adalah untuk first term yang ini eh. Okay. Now, untuk second term pula. Uh, second term adalah 3X sahaja. So, differentiate negative 3X kita dapat negative 3. Okay. So, now, differentiate pula E of negative Y. So, differentiate E of negative Y will be, apa rules dia? Salin darab dengan differentiate Y. So, D over DX of negative Y will be equals to negative 1. And then, kita akan darabkan dengan DY over dx. So, maksudnya the result will be just negative dy over dx. Okay. So, kat sini kita akan darabkan dengan negative dy over dx. Okay. And then, our right hand side will be differentiate e of negative x. So, remember salin darabkan dengan differentiate power. Differentiate power dia dapat negative 1. So, negative of exponent of negative x. Okay, seterusnya. Ini kita tak habis differentiate lagi. Saya perlu differentiate lagi this one. Okay, so dekat sini kita ada xy plus 2. xy plus 2 perlu gunakan product rule. Okay, so first of all, saya salin dahulu yang lain ni. So, 2 xy plus 2 Okay, darabkan dengan. Kita akan gunakan product rule. So, u will be equals to x. And u prime is equals to 1. Okay. And v is equals to y. And differentiate y kita dapat dy over dx. Okay. So, that means this one will be multiplied by v u prime. So, dapat y plus u v prime. So, kita ada x dy over dx. Okay. So, ini apa yang kita differentiate. Inilah kita dapat result ini. And then yang selebihnya, it will be minus 3 minus e of negative y dy over dx equals to negative e of negative x. Okay. So, now kita dah habis differentiate. So, dah habis differentiate, we are going to do the second step which is rearrange, jadikan dy dx sebagai subjek. Tapi sebelum itu, saya akan darab masuk, expand dahulu setiap value inilah. So, for example, ini saya akan darabkan dengan y, ini saya akan darabkan juga dengan x dy over dx. Um, okay, so it will be like this. So, the first term here, bila kita expand ini, kita dapat 2xy squared. Lepas tu, kita ada plus 4y plus, nampak tak? 2xy darabkan dengan y, kita dapat 2xy squared. And then, 2 darab dengan 2 dapat 4 kan? So, 4 darab dengan y dapat 4y. Kemudian, darabkan terus 
uh, this y dengan x dy over dx. So, I get 2x in the brackets xy plus 2 of dy over dx. Okay, and then kita akan minus dengan 3 minus e of negative y dy over dx equals to negative e of negative x. Okay, ini baru expand. Okay, so sekarang ini saya nak groupkan together yang ada dy over dx supaya nanti dia boleh jadi sebagai our subject. Okay, so ini saya akan continue on this part. Uh, so, saya ada 2x squared y. Okay, ini saya dah nak masuk. 2x squared y plus 4x of dy over dx minus e of negative y dy over dx equals to so now I'm going to bring all this yang tak ada dy dx ke right hand side so it will be um, 3 tolak 2xy squared tolak 4y tolak e of negative x Ok, so ini yang pertama lah. Ok, kemudian kita jadikan dy dx sebagai subjek. So, factorizekan dia. So, dekat sini kamu akan dapat 2x squared y plus 4x minus e of negative y equals to 3 minus 2xy squared minus 4y minus e of negative x. So, therefore, dy over dx will be equals to ini kita pindahkan jadikan dia sebagai denominator. So, it will be 3 minus 2xy squared minus 4y minus e of negative x. We divided by 2x square y plus 4x minus e of negative y. So, this should be your final answer. Okay, so now kita cuba lagi sekali untuk example 2. So, example 2, find dy over dx still in terms of x and y for ln of x over y minus 3x squared plus e of x y equals to 1. Okay. So, perkara pertama sebelum saya uh, start differentiate, I am going to simplify this ln using uh, log punya rules lah. Rules of logarithm. So, if you still remember, if we have ln of x over y, we can use ln x minus ln y. Okay. So, dekat sini kamu akan dapat ln of x minus ln of y minus 3x squared plus e of x y equals to 1. So, ini adalah first step saya. Saya simplify the function first. Okay. So, now kita akan start differentiate. So, d over dx of ln x minus ln y minus 3x squared plus e of xy. Okay, kalau kita differentiate left hand side, right hand side pun kita perlu differentiate. So, differentiate 1 kat sini. Okay, now let's start differentiate. So, differentiate ln x, kita dapat 1 over x. Differentiate negative of ln y, kita dapat negative 1 over y. Remember, darabkan pula dengan dy over dx. Okay, differentiate negative 3x square, kita dapat negative 6x. 
And now differentiate e of x, y plus salin e of x, y darab dengan. Now we are going to differentiate x dengan y. Power dia. Okay. Dan last sekali differentiate 1 we get 0. Okay. So nampak tak? Now saya highlight kan setiap term tersebut lah. Differentiate ln x kita dapat 1 over x. Differentiate negative ln y kita dapat negative 1 over y dy over dx. Okay. And now differentiate e of x y kita dapat e of x y and next kita akan differentiate pula dia punya power. So yang ini saya tak perlu highlightkan lah sebab kamu dah tahu dah differentiate negative 3 x square will be negative x. Negative 6 x sorry. And now let's try to differentiate x y. So dekat sini nampak tak kita ada product antara dua variable. So I'm going to use product rule. Okay, so dekat sini, u kamu adalah x, u prime is equals to y, v equals to y, and v prime is dy over dx. Okay, so now let's try to uh, combining all together. So, negative 1 over x minus 1 over y, dy over dx minus 6x. Plus e of x y darab dengan okay v u prime so y plus u v prime x dy over dx and this should be equals to zero okay dah siap differentiate let's expand first one over x minus one over y dy over dx minus six x plus y e of x y plus x e of x y dy over dx equals to 0. And then kita akan nampak dekat sini uh, negative 1 over y dy over dx dan juga positive x e of x y dy over dx ini kita akan combine together so saya akan tulis dia dekat bahagian sini pula kita sambung so i get x e of x y minus 1 over y of dy over dx equals to 6 x minus 1 over x minus y e of x y. Okay, so dekat sini sebenarnya saya dah nampak kita akan ada fraction 1 over y and 1 over x. So, I am going to um, samakan denominator untuk both terms kat sini. Lepas tu baru kita rearrange dia. Okay, so that means ini dia akan jadi x y e of x y minus 1 over y of dy over dx and this one dia akan jadi 6x squared minus 1 minus x y e of x y over x ok seterusnya Barulah kita akan pindahkan ini ke bahagian kanan. So, Y akan darabkan dekat atas dan X, Y, E, X, Y minus 1 akan darabkan dengan X. So, therefore, our dy over dx is equals to um, Y of 6X squared minus 1 minus x, y, e of x, y over x multiply by x, y, e of x, y minus 1. Ok, nak biarkan macam ni pun boleh ataupun if you want to uh, apa nama tu, expand pun boleh. So, kalau expand kamu akan dapat 6x square y minus y minus x, y squared 
e of x y over x square y e of x square minus x. So this is your first derivative lah, dy over dx in terms of x and y. Okay, so saya dah tunjuk dengan slow. Hopefully kamu dah faham lah konsep untuk implicit differentiation. Dia punya uh, perkara utama dia adalah when you differentiate je everything yang ada variable y, you are going to multiply by dy dx. Itu je dia punya key point dia. Yang selebihnya adalah all the concept of differentiation yang kita dah pernah belajar dan juga rearrange equations lah. So, kalau kamu lemah dekat rearrange equations, uh, mungkin akan berlaku banyak kecuaian apabila kita rearrange nanti. Okay, so yang itu yang kena banyakkan latihan. Okay, so saya dah tunjukkan first derivative. So, let's find out how to find the second derivative melibatkan implicit differentiation. Okay, so we are going to go through the third example. This third example, dia minta cari second derivative of y square plus 2xy equals to 16. So, nak cari second derivative, we need to have uh, first derivative dahulu. Okay, so dekat sini, kita dah nampak ada 2xy. So, I am going to use uh, product rule. So, dekat sini, saya akan let u equals to 2x, v equals to y. So, differentiate u dapat 2 differentiate y dapat dy over dx and then kita akan apply product rule ok so to find the first derivative so the first derivative will be differentiate y square kita dapat 2y dy over dx plus ok differentiate 2xy using product rule. So, vu prime will be 2y plus uv prime adalah 2x dy over dx. Okay. Then, differentiate 16, we have 0. Okay. Now, combining all together, Saya groupkan dy over dx dan juga dy over dx. So, we have dy over dx of 2y plus 2x equals to. Now, 2y kita pindahkan ke right hand side. I have negative of 2y. Okay, and finally, dy over dx will be equals to. Negative of 2y over, nampak tak kat sini, both term ada 2, so I am going to factorize. So, dapat y plus x. So, negative 2 divided by 2, we get negative 1. So, therefore, our dy over dx is equals to negative y over y plus x. So, this is our first derivative. Okay, looking forward to our second derivative. Kat sini kita ada fraction. So, if kita jumpa fractions, that means we are going to use quotient rule. Okay, so second derivative kat sini kita akan gunakan quotient. So, u adalah negative y. Differentiate negative y dapat negative dy over dx. Dan V adalah um, Y plus X. So, differentiate Y plus X dapat DY over DX plus 1. Okay. So, now what is our quotient rule? D square Y over DX squared will be equals to. So, V U prime. So, negative kepada Y plus X of dy over dx minus uv prime 
So negative y in the brackets of dy over dx plus 1 over the 9, our uh, v squared will be y plus x squared. Okay, so sebelum saya simplify, jawapan perlu in terms of x and y sahaja. So that means, yang ada dy over dx ini, kita akan gantikan semula dengan negative y over y plus x. So, negative y plus x darabkan dengan negative y over y plus x plus y in the brackets of negative y over y plus x plus y over y plus x squared. Okay. Now, dia berlapis kan? Kat sini ada fraction over dengan y plus x squared. So, that means I am going to combine jadikan dia dalam satu single fraction. So, ini tak ada masalah. Hanya perlu expandkan dia ke dalam sahaja. So, here it will be... Okay. Negative times by negative will be positive. So, kita ada y squared plus xy over y plus x. Okay. Dan ini darabkan kita ada minus y over y plus x. Okay. So, ini 1 pun kita perlu darabkan dengan y plus x lah. So, it will be plus y of y plus x over y plus x and these fractions will be divided by y plus x squared okay simplifying them will be okay nampak tak y squared uh, akan tambah dengan y squared dekat sini oh sorry Saya tertinggal square kat sini sebenarnya. Sebab y darabkan dengan negatif y dapat y squared kan. Okay. So dekat sini kamu akan nampak y squared minus y squared here will be just zero. So kita akan ada xy plus dengan y of xy kan. So xy jugalah. Uh, so kita akan ada 2xy. So, 2xy plus y squared. Denominator ini sama je variable dengan y plus x. So, boleh bawa dia turun bawah. And it will be y plus x cube. So, this will be our final answer of the second derivative. Okay. So, second derivative senang sahaja. Hanya perlu differentiate again our first derivative lah. Yang selalunya kita memang akan gunakan quotient rule sebab our first derivative will end up dapat dalam bentuk fraction. Okay. So, if you understand this video, now you can complete your tutorial question number 14 until 17. Okay. So, see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.